thinking too is the Joker director because this is very interesting to me. People who did movies and did certain type of things in their career, and then society changes, culture changes, and they have to try to redirect how they do things because either a they don't want to deal with the bullshit, or pretty much is it they just don't want to deal with the bullshit. So the Joker director says this. He says, um, he quit making comedies because of woke culture. This isn't Cedric Entertainer isn't the the director of Joker, but. There's been a plenty of discussion about the cancel and what cultures that have taken over social media, a particular group of people that regularly find themselves in the crosses of both factions are comedians who often ignore political correctness to craft their jokes. It's difficult for a comedian to not offend someone when social media gives them a worldwide audience. And while going viral can help one's career, it can also be detrimental to the entertainer. Todd Phillips, the director of the blockbuster film, The Joker, which I cannot wait to see shit. I ain't gonna, at first... When I first saw this Joker trailer shit, I was like, man, this shit gonna be fucking whack. This shit gonna be trash. But after, you know, some careful consideration and a pretty good marketing from them, the follow-up trailers from the original were pretty interesting and made me want to go. So I got to go see this movie. So anyways, back to what I was saying. What was that? He says, uh, Robert De Niro shared his frustration with the age of wokeness during an interview with Vanity Fair. Phillips, who also directed movies like Road Trip, Old School, and all the Hangover films, shared that he is no longer interested in being involved with comedies because he believes people are too sensitive not as. Damn, this nigga who made The Hangover, The Hangover. There was, to me, there was nothing that was in The hang Hangover that would have been considered insensitive or would make people mad. But, you know, you never know because people get mad about everything and anything nowadays. And I just, I just, I just can't be that type of person. So he says, go try to be funny nowadays with this woke culture. There were articles written in why comedies don't work anymore. I'll tell you why. Because all the fucking funny guys are like, fuck this shit because I don't want to offend you. Philip said it's hard to argue with 30 million people on Twitter. You just can't do it, right? So you just go. I'm out. I'm out. And you know what? With all my comedies, I think that the, uh, what comedy is in general, all have in common is they're irreverent. So I go. How do I know the reverend but fuck comedy? Blah, blah, blah. I don't give a fuck about that. My thing with this whole like cancel culture and what culture is, if you're going to be in it, you just gotta be. You just gotta say fuck it. And like the thing that he's saying, the thirty million Twitter followers. That's the thing. It's not everybody. It can look like when you see that you're trending, you you've been tweeted about fifty thousand times. It can seem like it's the entire fucking world that is after you. But when you sit back and like close off social media and you go out into the real world, a lot of the times, it's like it never even happened. It's not a real thing. Like, I see Eddie Murphy um, apologize for some of his jokes he made back in the 80s on Raw and Delirious. And I watched Delirious the other day on Netflix. Just got one of the, you know what I'm saying? See, like, let me, what's the apologize? Like? And I get it. He was joking about AIDS. He was joking about this. He was joking about that, about gay people. But he said, you can have, like, he didn't say nothing necessarily bad. Like, it was jokes. Everybody can get joked on. Black people get joked on. White people get joked on. Mexicans get joked on. Everybody can be joked on. So, and that's where Eddie Murphy, Murphy messed up right there. Don't apologize. You've already, you've, once you apologize, they're going to get you everything. And they're going to expect you to apologize again and again and again. Ask Kevin Hart. He said some things about smashing dollhouse on his kid's head. He apologized. Because I remember him apologizing about back in 2015, 2000, whatever. Came again for the Oscars. You got to apologize again. I'm not apologizing every time I say something. I'm sorry. That was in the 1980s. I'm not apologizing for something that happened 40 years, 40 years ago. I'm not apologizing for that. Depend, like a joke. Now, if it's like, actual bad shit like i was a racist piece of shit back in the day i can apologize for that and i can show that i've changed and then you let the people move on with their life but a joke and comedy and comedians it's like all right come on we, we got to just do better because th these kids nowadays they're gonna be they're gonna be no good and they were saying that about my generation they said we're soft we're coddled we're this we don't, we don't work for anything. We're lazy. These kids coming up now, they're going to be paid. They're going to be like the fucking shit, the, the one ply tissue paper. They're not going to be worth the fuck. Because every little thing's going to be offensive to them. Every little thing's going to be handed to them. We're going to soft. Oh, no, no. Don't say that. Safe, safe space, safe space. Trick. I heard there's people, I heard there's there's teachers in school nowadays, in, co in colleges. Not even just like little kids schools. There's kid, people just in colleges. When they're about to bring up a subject, now we're about to talk about race or we're about to talk about um, just anything like that could be triggering. They'll issue a trigger warning. Hey, guys, if anybody would like to step out or um, just just be aware that some things we're about to discuss can be triggering for you. Come. It's like, come on, bro. 
I don't I don't even be believing shit like this. Like there's really people out there in the world that act like this. That sit around all day cringing at every little thing people say on the internet. I'm like, how would you say that? Or there's people that go and you know how you can like put at name this and then you can search up gay or you can search up um, any, any like word you want to find. You can search at someone in the nigger and see if they ever said it in their life. Who got time for that? So, and they were trying to do it with this, back to the Joker guy. The, not necessarily, I don't know if this is the woke culture or the whatever. They're doing it with him. And I get the Aurora uh, movie theater and I want to show it there. Because when, when last time there was a Batman Jokery type of movie there, the, the shooting at Aurora, I get that. But there's people calling for it all over the, the United States not to play in theaters. They're saying this movie is about the... Um, about white shooters in today's society. The this movie is gonna galvanize them or make them feel like what they're I was reading articles about that like two weeks ago. I'm like, what it's the Joker. I know it's a more serious tone to the Joker, but at the end of the day, it's the Joker. And I know that you know what I'm saying you could bring up their roar. This guy did mimic that. But there's plenty of shit people mimic because they're all fucking idiots. You can't put a stain on one thing because one dumbass and it's an unfortunate event, but you can't stain one thing because one dumbass took it that way you just can't do it but they will they'll do it that's like if like like if i dress up as barack obama and i go on a mask like it's like okay barack mm, barack obama's incite what did he say that incites that what are people making me be? it's like come on bro and i know the joker and obama is not a good it, that's not a good thing because the joker is a crazy psycho masculine but still you could I, I know what i'm trying to say so you should probably understand a little bit what i'm trying to say but this is that's all i got for that this woke culture coming for everything i don't i don't like it and then that's my, my my point is to people who are famous to people who are who are big and who are out there doing their thing some people you can you can get them out of here. get them cancel them whatever rapists pedophiles get them out of here people making jokes you shouldn't try to take food out of people's mouth because of a joke and i get it you might not like it whatever but come on it's like it's a fucking joke like if you look at dave Chappelle and his comedy special you just dropped the critics, the critics, what I don't even know what the comedy critics for Rotten Tomato, or whoever, they gave it like a fourteen percent, which is like a shit rating, one of the worst ratings you can get because they wanted oh, the way he talked about gay people and the way he brought up transgenders and talked about this and demeaned women and whatever. They tried to do all that, thirteen percent. Nobody gave a fuck. You wait for the audience score to come out, ninety nine percent. Like I say all the time, as long as your core fan base. Is it mad? And you know you're not like malicious. It's different if you're like maliciously going, oh, I hate gays. Gay people are, are the worst, right? Like when you do that, then you're crazy. But if you're just trying to make a joke, you make it in a good little funny way or so, whatever, you could do that. But don't bend to the to the to the masses. Now, if your core isn't fucking with you and they're mad at you, then maybe you should apologize. you be like, all right, my core ain't fucking with me. My core, I love you guys. I'm so sorry. Da 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 da. But if you're core fucking with you, and you got a large core audience, like you got like Dave Chappelle type of core audience, you shouldn't worry about it because you're still gonna sell out concerts all over the thing. You're still gonna sell out shows. Like if this guy went back and made a Hangover, well, no, Hangover Four, that's kind of or Three, whatever it is at this point, kind of stretched it. But you know what I'm trying to. Do. If you made something in that vein that was still good, you could do it. You just gotta, you just gotta try. You just gotta fight back against. It. You see what happens when you fight back against. Like back in the day, it was like a, a weird, crazy thing to try to be politically correct. But now it's like. Certain people are trying to fight back against it. And then you hear people talk about things, trying to be politically correct. And it's just like, you're not even, like, if you're going to, like, don't dance around shit. If you're going to talk about it, talk about it. If you're not, not. Like, I watched the State of the Culture the other day, and they were talking about Latinx and Latino and Latinas. And um, what happened? They would, like, say Latino, and they'd be, I mean, um, a Latinx. It's like, come on. I'm not trying to offend you. I'm just, this is what we've, this is what it's always been. When I was in Spanish class, when you wanted to generalize people, you would put O, Latinos. I'm not oppressing women. I'm not putting you down, saying that the O's are more dominant than... That's just what I was learning when I was taught the language. So, relax. Everybody relax. It's fine. If you want to be whatever you want to be, that's fine. But, like, don't try to change all my... Like, if I say Latinos, I'm not saying Latinos and you get... I'm triggered, trigger one... Like, no, I'm Latinos. This is, this is everybody. It's not making... I'm not making the men more dominant. I'm just saying, that's what the fuck I learned in Spanish class. It's okay. Calm down. <laughs> 